Hello there, and welcome to my garage, where I have set up a folding table to showcase my knife collection for you. Uh, not really laid out in any particular order, but I did try to keep different uh, brands together just to uh, show them all off. And to, uh, you know, give a little brief overview of them, but hopefully this won't take like two hours of your time or anything to see. Uh, first up over here is a Bowie knife that I got back in college. It is unbranded. It is, you know, a Western style buoy there, big old blade, wood handle, full tang, brass guard, stainless, made in Pakistan, steel, dull as a butter knife. I don't know if I've ever, I don't think I've ever actually used this knife. The sheath is pretty terrible, uh, but you know, back then I did not know anything about knives and I bought this at a local fair. Next here on the table, we'll go to the Kydex sheath of the Tops Operator 7. This is a nice knife. Combat knife, survival knife, whatever you want it to be, kind of knife. Let's take a look at this thing. This is a World War II replica Nazi dress sword that I think I got at a flea market back in high school. The fella at the market said it was authentic World War II, but as the years have gone by, I think I've gotten a little smarter. It says stainless made in China here on the bottom, and I kind of doubt that Hitler's Third Reich was using Chinese made stainless steel. Next up, I've done a review on this one. This is the Cold Steel Gladius Machete. Double edge, hack through vegetation, perhaps other things too. A very cool blade. It's got a nylon sheath and a really only cost about uh, 30 bucks. Next up, the Schrade Old Timer. Yeah, it says Old Timer. Old Timer Buoy. I believe it's made of, I believe it's made of 7CR steel. So a little on the soft side, but I bet this could do some nice chop action. It's got a nylon sheath, says Old Timer on it there. Part of the Looped from the Choir Boys Cutlery Raffle earlier this year. Yeah, let me get that button. Yeah. Thinking snap. All right, next, one of the crown jewels. My birthday present, 2018. The Case Buoy. Very beautiful knife. Very handy knife. Awesome, awesome leather sheath here. You can check out a few of my other videos on that. Uh, let's keep going with the case selection. I have several pocket folders here. This one is a lockback for the case Mako. Next up, the case. Dave Canterbury, Signature Edition, Folding Hunter, got stonewashed CV blades, two blades there, a uh, skinny blade and a clip point, about four inches in length. Next, we got the Case Copper Lock. Very cool clip, clip point blade shape there. If you can make it out, I know I'm a little bit further away. But I wanted to get the whole table into the 
shot. Next we got a case trapper, orange whiskey bone, two blades. This is CV steel. Now whatever, didn't open the other blade, but you might know what a trapper looks like. If you don't, you're going to because there's two more coming. This one is the uh, newer uh, black micarta trapper with a satin finished blade. Typically a lot of case folding knives are mirror polished, but they put a satin finish on that one to make it a real user. This is a trapper in curly maple handle scales. Very, very pretty handle scales. Next up is the Case Stockman. Um, I featured both this Stockman and uh, the Trapper as part of my Knives Every American Should Own series. So you can check out my playlists and view, I think there's six videos in that series. You can see the Case Stockman and Case Trappers there. Stockman, cool design, three blades there, very handy. All right, moving on, uh, we'll, we'll go this, keep it traditional. This is a Great Eastern Cutlery, model number 23, Pioneer Trapper. It's got two blades, which are very hard to open, by the way. It's one of the uh, nuances of this knife. Let me fully open that one. They've got excellent snap to them. Look at that. Hopefully you all can see these in the frame. I'm trying to hold them out there to you, but this is a definitely a high quality knife. My Carta handle scales in 1095 blade steel. Next up, we got the Kershaw Emerson collaboration of the uh, CQC 10. Really awesome clip point shape there, frame lock. Let's see, um, right here we got the uh, Hammer Brand Fish Knife. Um, this was a find at my neighbor's house who had passed away. Um, it's got the long clip point blade there, as well as a scaler option. The, uh, this really isn't in usable shape. The back springs on that are pretty much shot and the blades don't really stay open. Uh, another one, we'll keep on the traditionals. This is the Sabre Barlow, model number 29. Very cool knife, love the uh, saw cut bone handles there. Cool blade shape, and I've got it razor sharp. Next up, very cool knife. This is the BPS Bushcraft. Awesome leather sheath, Beautiful walnut handle, mirror polished 1066 high carbon steel. Scandinavian grind. This is kind of the bush lore pattern of knife. Very popular in the bushcraft world, especially with a feller from the UK named Ray Mears. Uh, what else we got here? Let's go with the Cold Steel Spartan. Very cool knife. This and the next one here, the Cold Steel Ultimate Hunter. Gifts from my brother of the blade, Scab, over at Choir Boys Color. Uh, very thankful for those. Um, both were uh, kind of unexpected. He sent me some knives to review and offered to let me keep a couple. Um, let's see, next here, we got my Winkler Field Knife. Such a cool blade. Love this knife. Very interesting sheath as well. It's kind of a leather wrapped kydex and a metal belt clip and also a plastic kind of belt option there too. Next we got the Kilimanjaro. Winkler designed flipper knife. Excellent, excellent EDC knife here. Carry this one quite frequently. Right here we got some uh, cheapo John Wayne collectible knife. 
show that there. Uh, right next, you've seen this one recently, the SOG Seal XR, a monster of a folding knife and one of my absolute favorite knives. Such a cool knife. Uh, another one from SOG here, this is the Ace, marketed as an outdoor knife. You got like just under a four inch blade there. A very comfortable rubberized handle with like uh, some scallop grooves. Finger grip, you can even choke up a little bit there. It's got a plastic sheath and uh, this kind of line cutter slot that SOG likes to put on uh, quite a bit of their, their knife models. Uh, one last little SOG here, some miniature little Tanto blade there. It's kind of cool for, for what it is. It's called the Micon 2. Uh, here, similar size knife, made in the USA. Gerber, I believe it's called the Model 17, or no, no, I think it's the, it's called the US-1. Uh, small little knife made of their, in their 420HC that Gerber uses quite a bit. Can come in handy. Next up, we got a couple of fillet knives here. This one, found my neighbor's house, nice wood handle. Uh, it's really kind of thin plastic sheath, but um, that's okay. Really love the wood handle, and I've sharpened this up, got that razor sharp, and it's ready to go process some fish. Uh, next up is a Berkeley brand fillet knife. Got finger grooves there. I think this one could use some sharpening. All right, moving on, we got this uh, little clip point lock bat with a crocodile on the handle scales. Neat little knife that I bought when I was in Peru many years ago. Next up is the Victorinac Swiss Army Field Master. I uh, did a brief video on this once. Uh, thought this was the best model of the Swiss Army knife for me, as it's got a lot of different options that I like, especially scissors. Gotta have scissors on my Swiss Army knife. Next here we got a multi-tool. Uh, what is the brand? Vitold Tool Supply. It's got a bunch of different features, including a hammer here on the end and an ax. Check it out, an ax on your multi-tool. I don't think I've chopped anything with this yet, but I have used uh, the tools inside for a few projects. Got that for uh, Christmas a couple years ago, I think. All right, let's go to uh, the Buck brand. If you watch this channel, you know I really like the Buck brand. Here is the 110. LT model, the 110 Slim Select, the classic Buck model 110, the 110 Pro, whoop, whoop, the 286 Phantom, this one is uh, pretty pretty neat, uh, this is I believe called the Ascend LT model 715, uh, which was I think a Walmart exclusive that is now discontinued as far as I know. Very interesting blade shape there, almost like a uh, Persian style blade. Buck is the 722 Spitfire. Very great EDC knife. Cool blade shape here. Very handy. Next up, one of my favorite EDC blades, the, uh, what's the model number? 841, the Sprint Pro Burlap Micarta Scales. Into some Buck fixed blades. This is 
Another one of my favorites, the 104 Compadre by Carta Scales 5160 Steel. Awesome, awesome knife. Another, the 656 Large Pursuit. Very, very cool blade shape on this. My favorite, my favorite part of this knife. Love, love the, love the blade on that. Nice little recurve drop point. Very good thickness, in my opinion. And last of the bucks here, the 119 Special. Classic. The black phenolic handle, the 420 HC steel. Nice, nice clip point blade. All right, here we got a commemorative knife with an etching of Wyatt Earp, the Western wall man famous for the gunfight at the UK Corral. And we got a assisted opening and a rescue knife. It's got my name on it. Pretty cool blade shape there. It's got a glass breaker, um, liner lot, and it's got like a seat belt cutter there on the back end as well as a good can of it. Next up, we got two of these knives. Um, these, I think, uh, US Mint or American Mint or something. Actually, I think the paper here. What's it called? American International Mint Eagle Lockback. Very pretty knife. Next up, we got the Ozark Trail Assisted Opener Tanto Blade. Very cool little $6 Walmart knife. Next up, another Walmart Ozark Trail knife. I really like this design. Uh, nice kind of drop point. I guess you could call it a, a hunter. Uh, has a hard plastic sheath, belt clip, very nice little buff, little knife. They sold these for five bucks. Oh, look at them. Sold those for five bucks a couple years ago, and I, I just really liked it. So I picked one up. Next up, we've got a couple of more knives. This is the Companion, which I did a vinegar patina on. The next is the craft line model uh, I think 510 is it on there nope not on there so this is the craft line which I got as part of a uh, giveaway from Donnie B all day over a year ago in a little survival kit let's see we're almost at the end last but certainly not least another one of my favorites K bar we'll start off with the classic the USMC fighting utility knife, full leather stacked handle, 7 inch 1095 crow van steel blade. Love that knife. Here's a more modernized version with the hard plastic sheath, craton, also known as rubber handle. Uh, handle a little bit shorter on this one. But blade length is that same 7 inch 1095 Crow Van Steel. Uh, we'll keep it. Uh, we'll save that one for last. Why not? This is the K Bar Folding Hunter, the standard version in 5 CR15 steel. Next was the exclusive Smoky Mountain Knife Works version with. D2 steel. So definitely a good upgrade there. Uh, next K-Bar. This one doesn't really get a lot of press, but it's a really cool knife. Uh, this is the Jaros. Jaros? Jesse Jaros Jaros. He's a custom knife maker. He does some designs with K-Bar. It's a flipper knife. Os 8 spear point blade. Titanium frame lock tan g10 on this side this is a really nice edc blade um it's got a got a great blade shape too a little jimping there for cuts definitely recommend it if you want a knife like that 
Next is the K-Bar Bob Dozer designed holding hunter. Three inch blade, this is made of D2 steel. There's also cheaper versions available in OS 8 steel. Everybody seems to really like this knife design. Next is another knife that doesn't get a lot of press, the K-Bar Mule. It is a very big folder, big handle, I don't know what it's made of, probably glass reinforced nylon with some rubber inlays and an OS 8 steel blade, deep rad pocket clip, or as you saw it came in a belt sheath, nylon belt sheath too. I believe it's designed for um, first responders and tactical use kind of knife. And last but not least is the BK2, which I've upgraded to my Carta handle scales on. Five inch long, quarter inch thick blade. Uh, actually, this is the BK22 model, um, different than the BK2 because of this sheath. Um, BK2 has a plastic molded sheath, uh, whereas the 22, it's the, it's the same exact knife. It actually says BK2 on it. You probably can't see that, but believe me, it does. Um, it comes with the nylon sheath like all of the other knives in the Becker fixed blade series, or most of them anyway. The 18 comes with the plastic molded sheath like the two. So anyway, Hope you enjoyed this nice little uh, viewing. If you see a knife or blade here that uh, you would like to see more of, let me know in the comments and we'll do a video. All right, take care everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it even more, hit that red button that says subscribe. I try to do a lot of uh, exploring and adventures and hikes in the woods. And of course, take a trusty blade along on those trips because you never know when you might need one. Bye now.